Hey guys and welcome back to Smart Money Minds. Today's video, I'm gonna be going over the Chinese tech stocks that have been collapsing since last week. And I'm just gonna give you a quick update on what's going on with these stocks. From what I'm seeing, there are many, many bear flag patterns forming out there. So we're looking at the four hour and the daily time frame. And the strongest names that we had seen on the bounce is Baidu and TME. And let's take a look at those charts right now. The issue with Baidu and TME is that they both had very nice bounces, but they're still both in bear flag situations and are very weak compared to the rest of the market. So taking a look at this, look at the hourly time frame or daily time frame here. We had a bounce back up to the about the 0.5 range, but it is still hitting this 8 EMA resistance, this blue line here, and it can't break over it. In the one hour time frame, Baidu had a inverse head and shoulders pattern that did play out. It did break out. It was very nice of a breakout here and it kept going up. It is a one hour uptrend, but it's not a very convincing one. We see here that the volume is drying up. There's not many bulls coming in and every day the bears have been selling the first thing in the morning. Now let's look at TME here. TME is even weaker than Baidu as it moved up. It seemed to not even be able to get to the 8 EMA here and this area of confluence before starting to head back down. TME also had a inverse head and shoulders here, but what I didn't like was this 22 range here. This resistance point has been there the entire time, and it is not a clear inverse head and shoulders if it doesn't break out with volume. And you see here that it basically kept heading 22, 22 range, which is right here on the Fib retracement of 0.382. And now it's starting to fade and the one hour downtrend is apparent. So it's still trading sideways, but I just don't like it that it is weak and it is a very clear bear flag right now. So I'm also seeing a lot of eight hours and daily eight EMAs are catching up to the price action. So at the beginning, it had a steep price drop from all the hedge fund selling and the possible delisting and it dropped significantly but if you're looking here it's trading sideways and it's allowing those EMAs to catch up so let's take a look at these two stocks that I am watching and they are GSX and also VIPs so looking at the eight hour chart of GSX look at how it was a violent drop and it bounced ever so slightly but you see this eight EMA line slowly catching up Look at the bear volume, it's still happening every day here. It's not pushing the price down, but it's just allowing it to trade sideways. Vips here is doing the exact same thing. It is, this is the daily chart right here, but it had a heavy bounce. It pushed right back up here. And on the eight hour, look at this. It pushed up, but it can't break over. It keeps rejecting on this eight EMA line. So it's a perfect place for a resistance zone right now. This goes back to the bear volume is not cooling down yet. There are no bulls in sight. So as you see here, some articles on Bloomberg and other news channels are still saying they're far from cheap and things are still dropping and the US regulation on delisting is still a possibility here. With that information, I'm looking at the weakest names are VIPs, GSX, IQ, and they're all looking ready for another leg down to test pretty much all time lows. A quick look at GSX here, it's trading sideways, this bear flag very apparent, there is no bull volume coming in at all right now. And it bounced off 2940, which we have to look pretty much all the way back here at this zone of res support, which is 27, 28 zone, okay? But I'm looking down a little bit further even. So if I use a Fibonacci retracement here, or not retracement, extension. So even if I'm pulling here from, let's say there, I'm thinking that the next leg down would possibly hit the 138 30, 20 zone and that lines up with the 
next level of support, which is around, we have, have to look all the way back here because it's pretty far back where it initially started. So somewhere between the 14 to $17 range around here, which is quite a significant drop, but there is no bulls. Vips here is doing the same thing. We are seeing no bear, no bull volume, and it's very easily that it could continue to head back down, back test this range of around 25, and I'm gonna look for bullish divergence in that zone in the longer time frame, so the four hour, the eight hour, and this has been a pretty good zone for it to form a base. See, IQ here is probably the weakest name look at the intense bear volume heading down right now and it is testing all-time lows and the support here is 14 15 dollar range 14 35 14 50 and it is very possible that we head back down but you see here it did have a bounce from here but we could be testing all-time lows and you don't really want to be a buying a stock that's testing all time lows, even if the bounce potential is high, you may be taking a lot more losses before you hit that one nice bounce. We also have some American names that are in the same boat. So VIAC and DISCA. So we had some scandals going on for VIAC and DISCA. We had hedge fund liquidation. So very similar to what happened to the Chinese stocks as well. Feel free to take a quick read on this article here, Discovery Communications, taking losses due to hedge fund liquidation, and that's similar to what happened to those Chinese stocks. Looking at both these stocks, look at the pattern, very similar, and this is DISCA, very similar, no bounce play whatsoever. VIAC is basically coming off from all-time high, coming back to the... 30, 40 zone here, 45 zone, and I'm expecting it to take one more leg down. And I have a first entry alert here for around the 35, 37 zone here, because I'm expecting it to drop down, give me some bullish divergence, give me that daily oversold level, and weekly is gonna be heading back all the way down to this range here. And if we pull from the bottom, look at about where it lines up here. So the GP golden pocket is around this zone, but I'm thinking if it heads back down to the 30, 31 zone, which is the 0786 zone, that's gonna be a very juicy bounce level. Disca also in the same boat, coming all the way down from the all time high levels. I am, Setting an alert here for the double bottom for 3460 range because it could give you that daily oversold level, if not give you that bullish divergence. And I'm just looking down possibly in this zone here, which is the next level zone, 27 to 29. That's a next level zone that could act as support. The strategy to play here is you can play short because there's very clear resistance zones on a lot of these names. It is with the trend. And if you look at something like TME here, look at this resistance zone, 22. If that breaks, then your play is over because that's the key zone. Or the second option is you can just be patient and wait for the bounce, but you definitely need some clear, clear bull volume to come in. The pattern right now is not favorable. The bear flag is very apparent. So you can always use Fibonacci extensions to see where the possible bottom targets are, which that's what I'm doing and I showed you. And always just watch for the RSI divergence on the daily or the eight hour time frame, So you can tell that there may possibly be a switch in bulls. Lastly, if you do choose to play the bounce, make sure you enter small because you could be suffering a loss all the way down and only add size when it confirms because you could be taking the loss, but you have to sit 
with that loss for possibly a period of time before the bounce occurs. And are you okay with sitting in that loss and being in the red for that long? In the comments below, let me know if you are planning to play this bullish or bearish. What is your strategy looking at these stocks? These are huge bounce potential stocks, but there is definitely a chance that it could take another leg down as the pattern suggests. So let me know in the comments below. Make sure you drop that like, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and then we'll see you guys next week.